Right guys, so today we're going to be taking Oscar to the Vets for something that I've been dreading for quite a while. About two years ago he was diagnosed with a heart murmur, which these type of dogs are prone to. Um, he's 10 now and he's done really well to avoid it for as long as he has, but he was diagnosed with it, like I say, a couple of years ago, but it was only a low grade one. I've noticed the last month or so that he started coughing a lot and uh, breathing quite heavy. So the first thing I thought was along the lines of it could be this disease progressing and him having fluid on his lungs. So we're going to take him to the vet now and get him checked out and hopefully it's not uh, too bad news because if it is progressing then it's basically the beginning of the end if you will. So anyway I thought I'd take you guys along and you seem to be you know quite familiar with him now and uh you enjoy watching him and so i thought it would be a case of i'd take you through the good and the bad with him so we'll go and get down there now and and see what they say i'll be back in a sec <laughs> Yes, I think so, yeah, yeah, I was expecting about that, yeah. Um, we wouldn't want to do anything on the set. And in he goes, so we've got to wait outside while they check him over and they're going to come out and let us know what the situation is, so let's give it a sec. Right, so he's coming out now, guys. Let's see what they say. Are you alright? Yep. How's he seem? Um, so he's um his murder's possibly a bit worse than what it was in I think it was December or November Jane saw him. Yeah, yeah. Um it's probably now more like grade five on Right, so it has gone off. I think yeah. it has, yeah. Um there's also possibly a few crackles um, yeah, in his yeah. lungs and stuff as well. Yeah, I must admit I did notice that, yeah. 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 Um, I mean, you can almost feel it on the left, yeah. sort of thing. Right. Um, is he on any medication for it? He's not at the moment, no. No, so I mean, it might be worth starting him on some of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, probably to serve him some pimabendin, which sort of improves the contractility and stuff. Yeah, I see, yeah. Uh, he'd spoke about medication last time and he said yeah. he was alright for it at the moment, though. Yeah. So it was just like, say, after that coughing, when he'd been coughing a bit last time, I thought. Yeah. Give us a bit of a reminder to come and get it checked out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, I mean, has he ever had a heart scan as well? As he, he, hasn't, no. he hasn't, no. So I mean, you know, we can probably recommend the ideal would be to get him booked in with a guy called Chris Fellows, who's a cardiologist. Yeah. Um, he does heart scans and ECGs. Yeah. And he can do some full cardio workup. Um, he'd be probably the best sort of person to advise on starting on medication and things. Yeah, right. Um, so what, just make another appointment and come back for that and then take um, it from there? Yes, so I mean it probably be, it might be a couple of months before we can get you in with Chris because yeah. he's sort of, you know, he's a visiting specialist so right. he just comes when we've got enough cases to make it worth him coming. Yeah. Um, he is coming this week but I don't know whether he'd be able to fit another one in. Right, right, okay. Um, I mean, if you're interested, I can try finding out if you can get him in this week. Yeah, you can ask, ask him. It's no harm in yeah. asking, and then um, we can it uh, is get sort him sorted. Eight, nine hundred pounds. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, is he insured for him? He's, he's not. No. He's not. No. So yeah. Right. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it might be worth starting him on some medication. Right. All right. Cool. Right. Well, we'll go back and I'll have a chat with my missus about it, yeah. and we'll we'll get, have to get something sorted yeah. out with regards to that then. Yeah. So. All right then, no problem. Yep, I'll uh, yep. set you up for today. Do you want me to pay on card um, when I get home or do you want me to pay um, cash now? Um, I do pay by card when I get home. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll get home yep. and I'll phone up for yep. you. All right. Right. All yep. right, great. It's great stuff then. Thanks for having a look at him. Come on, Ash. So, guys, it's not good news. He's, um, he's gone up to a grade five heart murmur now, which means... Uh, things are gonna only gonna start getting worse bit by bit, and uh, I wouldn't say he's on borrowed time, but he's is uh, gradually gonna get worse over the next year or two. I would say so. He's uh, he's not got a great deal of time left at the best case scenario. So 
I was sort of half expecting it to be with me here because I'd noticed that his breathing was a bit different over the last couple of months and he was doing a lot of coughing so it's horrible to watch when he's doing that and I just got a sinking feeling when he'd started doing it that it was progressing quite a bit so she's just confirmed the worst really so anyway I'm going to get home and get my thoughts together and process it a bit and then uh, I'll do another video update on where we go from here and I'll do a bit more research on the grade 5 heart murmur and uh, yeah I'll, I'll be back and let you know how he is and how it goes at the vet for the next trip and his medication etc etc so I'll leave it there for now guys um, yeah I'll be back soon right so I've just been having a look on the internet with regards to his grade 5 heart murmur it probably is quite a bit worse than what he expected it's saying that it's the early stages of heart failure um, like I said it, it's unfortunately sort of like the beginning of the end maybe I mean he could live for another two years or it could be something as little as six months maybe so it's one of them where we'll never really know until it happens but we're just going to start him on the medication as soon as possible and monitor his progress from there I've just checked his breaths per minute and they're at 19 which is it is quite good um, so we're just going to keep an eye on him with regards to that. There's not a lot that we can do that, you know, us or any any used lot can do. It's just one of them where there's no operation or no process that can be performed that'll stop it or slow it down other than the tablets that they can give him. So we're just going to have to go with it and, and see how it progresses from here. So I just thought I'd share it with you anyway. I'll drop you some information in the description, a link to the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and the heart problems and also how they grade them. And you'll see, like I say, this is a grade five now. It was only two years ago when he got diagnosed and it was a grade one. So they, they said he seems to be a bit of fluid on his lungs because you can hear it sort of a, a raspy noise when he's breathing on his left side. So that indicates fluid on his lungs. Uh, again, it's just a case of keeping an eye on him. I'll give you some regular updates and on how he's doing, etc, etc. So hopefully we'll, we'll get another couple of years out of him. But he's going to have to take it a bit easier now. So anyway, we'll give you another video at the weekend from an audit. And keep you posted with regards to his condition. Alright guys, thanks for, thanks for watching and thanks for giving a damn about little Oscar here and all. He means a lot to a lot of people out there. So I thought I'd share the news with you. Right, take care guys. I'll catch you next time.